This afternoon at Carlisle, the visitors. And they're here because of their one of their great wins this season against Castle. I did wonder if they can prove pull off another shot this afternoon. Well, the Leeds team, which is just taking the field now, is as follows: Anthony Gibbons at fullback, with a three-quarter line of Paul Cook, Kevin Iro, Craig Guinness, and Francis Cummins. The halfbacks are Graham Oldroyd and Anthony Gibbons' twin brother David Gibbons. The front row of Neil Harmon, Mick Shaw, and Barry McDermott, James Lowe's and John Mann form the second row, and Mike Forshaw is a loose forward. And as in all Regal Trophy matches this season, only two substitutes, Gary Mercer and Harvey Howard. The team which Carlisle Hopewood can pull off the Rugby League shock of the season has Willie Richardson at fullback, Gary Rudd, Jason Thurlow, Matt Lynch and Phil Manning in the three-quarter line, Tane Manihara and Mike Cavana at halfbacks, C. Bailey, Danny Russell and George Graham the front row, the second row, Stuart Rhodes and Derek Armstrong with Gary, Ar Gary Charlton at loose forward. And two substitutes, Richard Hanera and Barry Williams. The referee this afternoon, Mr Colin Morris. And really, conditions perfect. No wind at all. No sun to get into players' eyes. And conditions nice and soft underfoot. So Kevin Iro and uh, his opposite number, Gary Charlton, captains, tossing up, posing with the mascots and the referee for the obligatory photographs, which is taken. And so the mascots go off the field, together with the photographer and the two teams line up. It's the Belize to kick off. They'll be defending the St. Michael's Lane end, kicking towards the electronic scoreboard end. The last two time these two teams met was in the 1988-89 season, the Challenge Cup. And Leeds won 24-4 here. And Andrew Ettinghausen scored a try, and John Bentley scored two tries, and also kicked two goals on that afternoon. So it's Hall Road who gets the game underway. It's going to be see if Leeds can keep Carlisle pinned in their own half of the field. Willie Richardson, the full back then, was tackled. Stuart Rhodes. And that's the chunky figure of George Graham, not to get confused with the footballing George Graham, the former Arsenal manager. You perhaps heard that, the referee shouting that the centre of Carlisle was offside as Cummins picks the ball up. And Leeds now have got to build from their own 20 metre area. And that was Dave Gibbons, his first touch of the ball. Ball jolted out of George Mann's hands there. And it gives a chance for Carlisle to put the first attack together in a real attacking part of the... Steve Briley taking it on. We're looking for the second rower, Stuart Rhodes, who's 10 try, George Graham. Three Leeds players in to do the tackling. Leeds caught up, well, not playing, I thought Leeds have been caught offside there, but not playing the ball correctly. Colin Morris, so uh, questioned by Danny Russell, the referee, but he's not having anything of it, so Lee's survive that burst of Carlisle pressure. And the ball goes into touch and onto the south stand roof and back onto the field of play. I know it stops up there. Harry McDermott just short of the halfway line. Mick Shaw takes it on. Sees that Carlisle are not moving up. And makes a little more yardage for the Loiners. Mike Forshaw. 
wanted to get the ball away there to Holroyd, but his arms were pinned. Oh, slipped through there, and uh, Anthony Gibbons, Anthony Gibbons, Anthony Gibbons, but he's just tackled, and that's a try saving tackle. But the referee he appeared to have dropped the ball in the tackle, but uh, Gibbons seemed to be going through there. But a good try saving tackle by the Carlisle defence. So both sides have had a footing in their opponents. 20 meter area within the first three minutes of this game. Willa Richardson, who's 76 goals this season, have possibly put Carlisle up near the top of the second division and into this quarter final of the Regal Trophy. No way through for Steve Briley. Kick there by Danny Russell, and a good kick that was. To the he's ball, he's got to run the ball out. Anthony Gibbons picks up on the bounce, tries to run between the winger and the centre, but there's no way through. They quickly close a gap, and Francis Cummings across the field, past the outstretched arm of George Graham. But Gary Charlton in for the tackle there, and Mick Shaw. Tackle coming in from Manihara. He take a blow across the face there. Craig Innes running up in support, but the ball was not in a position to be released by George Mann on that occasion. Now Kevin Iro try to go low, and that's a pace on the outside. Paul Cook. Paul Cook steps inside to avoid being pushed into touch. Now Iro kick over the top. Is he going to regather? Can't, can't get around George Graham, who takes the ball. Both teams at the moment feeling each other out. Willa Richardson, formerly of Whitehaven. on the short side and there's no way down and that was a good tackle by Craig Innes. Barley saw that kick by Cavanna, Bluey Cavanna, as his nickname is. And Paul Cook tries to take it up and take it up on the outside but there's no way through. At the moment both defences are pretty firm although that break by Anthony Gibbons nearly produced a Leeds try. David Gibbons unable to take that one, and uh, Jason Thurlow took it. Now Willie Richardson, and, uh, in his mid-thirties and showing a bit of pace there. George Graham, to out of that tackle, reverses and goes back again. Steve Riley, Lou Cavana, Thurlow. Not in a position to let uh, Carlisle's top try scorer this season, Gary Ruddy, collect the ball. Cavana puts a, a good kick, that's a towering kick. Give us underneath it. <laughs> Manihara tries his hardest to put Gibbons off, but he took that ball well under pressure. And that must give him a lot of confidence. Now George Graham with the ball. And uh, it was a good job that Holroyd was one of the two Leeds players who was alive to that situation. Another try, a try could have been on there. Phil Manning tries to duck and dive underneath the defence. The defence by the Leeds, def mistake by Leeds defence, and now Carlisle have got men over. It's going in, it's going to be a try, and he dropped the ball with the line wide open. I have a feeling Graham Ruddy was looking at the try line, saying this is an easy one. and took his eyes off the ball at the incorrect moment and that proved fateful for his side but Leeds breathe again Cummins nearly up to the 20 metre line 
Craig Innes, Craig Innes. Against the water, he's got uh, Anthony Gibbons up in support. But uh, tackled on about the same, virtually the same spot that Craig Innes, where he would release the ball on. For sure, and at the moment, tackling on both sides is a little keen, as it should be, what you expect in a cup tie. Blue shirt, shirted Boyder Raiders crowd and trying to crowd these out now Mitch Shaw there go he's grabbed by the collar by Stuart Rhodes Holroyd puts a kick in towards the right collected by uh, Iro and push it out to uh, Bright Neil Harmon but uh, finally Cook has to throw the ball to keep it in play so it's going to be it's a knock on And unfortunately for Carlisle, it's the Carlisle players who knocked it on. So, Derek Armstrong puts his own team under a little bit of pressure here. Well, these will fan this one out to the left. Iro, Iro to the gap, bombs it over the top. Gibbon picks it up, and the referee has blown. He's seen a knock on. Well, the ball did touch down. Debatable that it whether it went forward or not. But Mr. Colin Morris was of no doubt. It's probably one of these a doubtful knock on rather than a doubtful try. Swing down. Willa Richardson clearing his lines. Gary Charlton Mary Carson who's not concrete to that little bit of pressure but they got out of it when Leeds knocked on George Graham oh good little kick through on Hera but dived on and again he can kick through now Willie Richardson if he collects this it'll be a try did he collect it the answer is no, he was unable to collect it. Maybe perhaps thought it wouldn't roll over the try line and he had to pick it up to help it on its way. Was the general consensus might have been to let the ball roll over the try line and just dive on it. But of course, the Leeds defence might have got in there first. So for the second time, Leeds breathe again. Richardson makes up that by offending Holroyd. Craig Innes. We've had some ten minutes of play. Near misses, but no points. James Lowe is out. James Lowe doesn't mind where he plays in the lead side. There's a chance, and that's a lane pass. And this surge, surely, is a try for Carlisle. It is. Ten minutes gone. And Phil Manning puts the visitors in front. A loose pass there by Neil Harmon. And Phil Manning puts his side into a 4 0 lead. The supporters will tell them there's plenty of time to go. And we'll see what the score is at the end of 80 minutes. Well, I will say, well, please don't get any points. This will win it 6 0. That's if he kicks this one. Ball up in the air. No mistake by Willa Richardson on that occasion. So Leeds nil. Carlisle Border Raiders six. And those who are pre predicting a lot of points in favour of Leeds, well, the floodgates are firmly closed at the moment. Maybe that's just the jolt home side want Neil Harmon eager to make up for the mistake that he made Willie Richardson zigzagging he's obviously eager to 
add some more points from that lethal boot of his. Yeah, really a kick. Picked up and it'll be back to one again. Because that was touched by David Gibbons. And already the lead supporters aren't very happy. Gary Charlton taking the lead plays off but unable to get rid of the ball. Derek Armstrong socks down by his ankles. Relishing the task. We'll get away, George Armstrong, but I think a knock on there. The man here would have probably done us better for his side to have held the ball then. I know that George Armstrong was in a position that he wanted the ball and was taking it onto the short side. Now can lead strike Paul Cook. Not on that occasion, Willie Richardson up in the line, making the tackle. Craig Innes, Craig Guinness. Just over the halfway line. Crowd wanting a penalty for lying on. And Craig Guinness couldn't get the ball away. Mr. Man out. James Lowes. Tackled by his opposite number, Stuart Rhodes. Leeds trying to raise their game a bit, but the tackling. No way through there for David Gibbons. Man. George Mann great high row but the ball was behind him slightly and they would hold it throws his hands in anguish but probably his own error because the pass wasn't too bad and Carlisle breathe again ball jolted free now James Lowe's on the attack and the ball not and in fact, the four pass had been given anyway. As McDermott couldn't take that ball. Willie Richardson, player injured. He's going back to his position at fullback after a word with the physio and Carlisle when that's crumb. Manihara takes on Iro and George Mann. It's the case at this stage of the game that Leeds have got to remain calm and not play panic football. 6 0 down, 16 minutes gone, still plenty of time. And that was a good play by Stuart Rhodes there. Well, Carlisle using the forwards well at the moment and seem to be holding the ball a little more confident than the Leeds are. Kick through, and that wasn't a good kick by Russell. Taken by Francis Cummins, and uh, Jason Thurlow just manages to get Cummins by his shirt and pull him back. Anthony Gibbons. Uh, and this time, Gary Charlton not letting him go, instead of striding away from him. So leads. A chance now to put an attack together from inside the Carlisle half for that aid of a penalty. 30 metres short of the line. Neil Harmon drives in. Harry McDermott. They begin a long pass. Holroyd, no long, trying to get through a gap. There's a big long gap there. Maybe if Gibbons had a run round, done the run around then might have been more productive. But the, the attack hasn't finished yet. Holroyd. Maybe Gibbons. George Mann tries to ship it out and only ships it straight into the hands of a Carlisle player. And James Thurlow will be very grateful of that. And Gary Ruddy runs it out. So things quite not going Leeds' way. And Iroh 
Dumps the unfortunate Richardson down on the ground. George Graham. Always looking for work. The Carlisle props. And there they come again. Wrong foot there by Tony Manihera. And he's got players on there, both sides of him. I'm going to put a kick through, but it's a little too deep. And Anthony Gibbons dives on the ball and gratefully stops any chance of Carlisle scoring on that occasion. Now, Francis Cummings. Crowd urging Lees to back up the man with the ball. Graham Holroyd trying to marshal players. But uh, Mick Shaw. And again, playing right into Carlisle's hands because this second region side will tackle. Just depends how much steam it takes out of him when he's tackling. So, surely when he's trying to take out now, Lowe's. And he got Cook on the outside. James Lowe's. Cook! Cook can go down the touchline. He can! He's going down the touchline. And he scores in the corner. So nine minutes after Carlisle had taken the 6 0 lead. Paul Cook, who puts Leeds in a little more heart with that try. Leeds four, Carlisle six. That try by Cook shows what Leeds can do if they play possibly wide out and catch Carlisle out on the outside. Whatever happens now, Carlisle can say we've held the lead for more than a quarter of the game. You just see how much of a lift the try, Paul Cook try, made to the Loiners. Make sure trying to zigzag through, but there's certainly no way through there. The markers were waiting for him. Barry McDermott makes one tackle. Can't get rid of the ball to Anthony Gibbons on his right hand side. It's a neat little kick in over the top. Gary Rudd collects it. And he's forced back by Craig and his ball comes out. Picked up. Is there a knock on? The referee says no. Bill Richardson and George Mann <laughs> slow in getting up there. And the car out of that slapped on the back by one of his own players to play the ball. See Briley and George Graham working hard in getting the ball out of trouble. Danny Russell. Danny Russell again. Russell from Manly, Australia. And a good kick put in there. Is it going to go into touch? If not, it just rebounds inside. Collected by Francis Cubbins. That's going to come on the outside. He nearly got through the Gary Ruddy tackle, but Ruddy hung on to him till support came his way. Anthony Givens. Referee shouting to the Carlisle players to let him up in that tackle. Carlisle called offside, they haven't got back required distance. Referee let him play go on just that little bit. A few seconds if he's got an advantage, which they hadn't. But they certainly got an advantage now as another Holroyd penalty kick goes into touch on the south stand side and they're just 30 metres short of the line. Mary McDermott. George Graham will tackle all day. Neil Harmon. George can't get through, George Graham comes across. But uh, the fellow prop, Steve Briley, who finally puts Neil Harmon down and leads move it out right. Now a chance here with man over. Iroh moving it out, Iroh, that's a tackle. 
Dummett to flash it out right. Went through the tackle by Monihira. The score about 10 metres from the try line, from the touch line, I should say. And make it 10 6 in favour of Leeds. And the crowd tell you that the ball is on its way successfully. And Paul Cook, first successful kick of the afternoon. Makes it Leeds 10, Carlisle 6. 24 4 the last time Carlisle were here. And that Challenge Cup tie in 1989. I always call I've got more points than did on that occasion. And Carl, I really must be fed up of coming to Leeds because I have a feeling they've got to come to Leeds next week for a league match to Hunslet. So this is the fourth successive weekend, fourth successive Sunday. They've been in the city of Leeds, so certainly the coach driver will know the way to the city. that time of course they played Hunslet in the Regal Trophy they played Bramley in a league game which they lost their first match they lost in after 12 successive wins so 13 was unlucky and Leeds are aiming to make it 14 unlucky and Barry McDermott drops the ball picked up by George Graham so one of those all too easy passes I suppose and Willie Richardson Tries to move it out of his own defensive quarter. No way through for Gary Charlton. Looks like a substitute on Barry Williams. Welsh International is one of these players who uh, takes the ball from about four or five yards out and crashes over for a try. He's not going to crash over from a try some 60 yards out. Francis Cummins takes that kick. Can't get through. And it could be Steve Briley who's gone off for Carlisle. Dave Gibbons tries to twist out of that tackle. Whole road. Barry McDermott holds on to that one, throws it away. Jay, Mick Shaw's there. Mick Shaw. The ever alert Mick Shaw. Holroyd. Got support on his outside. That man. Craig Guinness. Craig Guinness had a blast through. Still going, Craig Guinness. Gets the ball out. The Francis coming. Just see what the referee decision is there. And the referee said it's a try. So Francis Cummings makes it try number 12 for the season. To extend the Leeds lead to 14-6. Not sure, acting half back. And the hard-working James Lowe's takes it up. He's made a, Leeds have made a change, Gary Mercer's on. As is Harvey Howard who takes that on, so Leeds have made a, a double substitution there. Neil Harmon wanting support, nobody there. So he keeps hold, and rightly so. Holroyd oh, chips it through, can neglect it, dribbles it through. Dribbles it past the player and picks the ball up and touches down as cheeky as you like. And I think the crowd enjoyed that one. Well, I talked about Martin Afire's football in try against the London Broncos. That one's a bad effort. <laughs> the 
of course, this is the last day when uh, teams that have been scored against kick off because rule changes coming on Monday, which is tomorrow. And if that had have happened after tomorrow or after today, it would have been Leeds kicking off then and Carlisle getting the ball back. And Harvey, Harvey Howard showing that. Uh, as well as he's got bulk, he's got plenty now. Look, look, a forward pass to me. But uh, obviously Colin Morris is not interested. And Richard Hanera takes the ball up for Carlisle as they recover it. So perhaps uh, justice was done there. Short ball to Armstrong, but he's not. He's short of the halfway line. Cameron kicks it over the top. Referee wipes it out. Cameron looking a bit aggrieved that he was probably half obstructed there. Referee wiped the slate clean. And the Gibbon boys in turn take the ball up. David Gibbon to it at that time. Previously it was his brother. Not an easy one. I'm just waiting for the referee to blow his whistle. A knock on there by Gary Mercer. Possibly a little too close to take a ball that high. Carlisle chance to put an attack and see if they can reduce the points arrears, which is 12 at the moment. It's 18 6 to Leeds. He's not moving up there in the tackle. Crowd urging them to move forward onto Stewart Road, but they didn't. And Cavana moves it out wide. And Barry Williams moving back inside. Russell oh, that back to that could be back to one again. And you see that the referee wipes out the slate. And there's a real ball throwing at words were said. The ball was thrown, and Danny Russell comes in as peacemaker. With a penalty to Carlisle. Now they're going to take a kick at goal. He is going to take a kick at goal. Thirty metres out versus straight in front of the post. Oh, then the compass of this player. On a couple of occasions has kicked seven goals, nine goals in a match also, and several fives and an eight. So he's got uh, a pretty reliable boot. <laughs> but not reliable on that occasion. And that will no doubt disappoint him, his teammates and his coach. So Leeds will drop out. Obviously made sure he put the ball dead and a chance for... Carlisle to get the ball back. Organisation being done by Tony Manahira, but that's a long one. That's by George Graham. And he'll run it out, that's for sure. And he makes it back to the nearly to the halfway line from his 20 metre line. That was a good run. Hanera takes it up. Russell now Cavana. Derek Armstrong. Is he going to count that as a spear tackle or what? Certainly one or two words are being said there. 
The two should have been called on. The two should did not come on. And they, certainly the physio signalling something. Has he hurt his shoulder or his arm? Now the two captains being called together, together with Craig Innes. I don't think there's any malicious intent, certainly. But uh, the Carlisle player being helped to his feet looks a bit shaken to say the least. Touch judge and referee confer. Being put on report. So Craig Guinness has been put on report, and obviously that's what the referee was saying. I don't think they're sure. So they will view the video of that. They say it was a spear tackle. So Barry Williams will take the kick and put it into touch. In fact, the wait until the Armstrong goes off. Well, I think if the referee was so intent that it was a spear tackle, perhaps then he should have been sent off. He's only been put on report. So is it possible the referee and the touch judge missed it all at the same moment? Sympathetic applause for Armstrong, so it's doubtful that he'll be back this afternoon but Carlisle now a chance to perhaps make Leeds pay for that misdemeanor hard tackle comes in there on Hanhera certainly felt that one from the two forwards Stagrum trying to break through by Stuart Rhodes there's actually Carlisle's second top try scorer. A, a ten tries and Russell going up to the line. And he tackled just short. I suppose you could say that's, that's Australian initiative. Graham knocks on. And looks disgusted with himself. wanting to hold the ball for the five tackles before if they hadn't got over and then put Leeds under pressure with a good kick Francis Cummings not breaking out Craig Guinness zigzagging De debut puts his hands up to stop himself being creating an obstruction there now the hatted Neil Harmon make sure make sure to a gap referee signaling and uh, penalty to Leeds the referee signaling that was the six tackle coming up but then give Leeds a penalty and there's some lying on in the tackle the least chance to save us some more points before the half time hooter Holroyd <laughs> given states that one well and pass it to Holroyd as I said that Holroyd was moving up ready on the left hand side at the moment I thought Gibbons had dropped it virtually but Innes he, uh, he get Innes and he's pushed the ball down, despite the fact that Carlisle players trying to pull him back. So a try by Craig Innes. And three others which haven't hit the target. Yeah, 
this time. If he's got the distance, it's good. Touch judges flag signify that. 24 and right on the hooter. Leads, increase that lead, that Paul Cook, second successful kick of the afternoon, makes a half-time score. Leads 24, Carlisle Border Raiders 6. Ready for the kickoff for the second half. Carlisle to kick off. And they find themselves 24 6 in arrears. Colin Morris signifying the start of the second half leads 20 minutes away. They hope of a place in the semi finals of the Regal Trophy. thinks that the first half display by Leeds has put them enough points on the board for them to be there already but one has to wait till the end of 80 minutes before the proverbial fat lady sings sure to a gap and makes a good half break there finally stopped by Barry Williams Holroyd puts a high kick in. Not quite as high as Galileo on its way to Jupiter. Richard Hanier wrapped up before he can make much ground towards the Leeds line. Willie Richardson force the yard or two back kick there by Charlton oh, will it roll into it no it rolls back from the touch line and Anthony Given picks it up and goes down the outside making about 15 yards or so Francis Coven wrapped up in the tackle there by Barry Williams Iro going low for sure. David Gibbons dancing. Nobody running into the gap. And the space going to get move the ball on to the left hand side. Make sure there to take Harvey Howard's pass. Flicks it out. Only into the arms of Steve Briley. The Carlisle number eight. Richardson doubles back. And James Lowe's not one to let him go. George Graham, who's run strong all afternoon for Carlisle. Barry Williams gets the ball away, collected nicely by Kamana. Kamana kicks. Is he going to be a little too deep? He's not. It's a try. Try for Carlisle. And again, it's the number five, I think, Phil Manning. We've got that try. So Phil Manning's second try of the afternoon for the... No announcement to who the try was, but I'm pretty certain that you'll see that it was Manning who took that one down. Good kick by Cavana. Nicely weighted. Looked as though it might roll dead, but it didn't. So, our lead's been, going to be stung into the attack again. Barry Williams pushes off one player. Can't push off two others. He's only got one arm free to do it. His arm is holding the ball. Willie Richardson.
George Graham. David Gibbons with him head on. Really not going to go far. Russell, dummy half. Puts it back inside and it's Williams. But he's tackled before he can pass the ball to the ever advancing Russell. Cavana puts a long kick in again, but this time there's no thought really to that one, just a case of a kick clear. It was straight to Anthony Gibbons, who dances out of Cavana's tackle to go on to the left hand side of the field. Craig Guinness. Craig Guinness taking the defenders on. Going low, looking for support. Nearly breaks through. But, uh, and there's the good tackler who is uh, Anahera. Who chased across to make that tackle on Neil Harmon. Oh, and another mistake by Laser to try and pass it out in unfortunate circumstances, but they do get the ball back through a Carlisle drop ball. And Paul Cook comes up with it, for sure, trying to stride away from dummy half and can't. Crowd want Leeds to play no nonsense football, and I think that's what they should do. In it's out the outside, he's not coming, coming has to come inside. James Lowe's, Gibbons, Gibbons does the run around, collected this time by Gary Merster. Mercer through the gap, straight into the line. Got support. Kevin Iro. Kevin Iro looks like he's going to pass inside and then took the ball on himself to score a try and restore the balance somewhat for his second try of the afternoon. And leads up the same point leaders they had at half time, 18 points. 28 10 the score. And 48 minutes. Gary Charlton there trying to urge his side on as Kavana kicks the ball towards the Lee's line. By Givens gives it to Forshaw. Forshaw takes it to the just beyond the 20 metre line. Make sure doing half. Gary Mercer, Gary Mercer, no chance now. Craig Innes, Craig Innes on the outside. Francis Cummins has gone inside. Puts a kick in to try and get Cummins down or Holroyd, but neither of them. Willie Richardson coming up with the ball. That's Leeds. That's not back there. The referee back's a little lenient. The big bulk of oh, they have a lot forward. Referee a bit slow in blowing there, but he did blow. For a forward pass. Crowd had shouted a second or so beforehand. But I won't say he was influenced by the crowd there whatsoever. Bit of a dummy there as Mick Force, your picks the ball up, trying to go through a gap. Carlisle attempted pulling towards the touchline, but he's down on the floor. So that move ends as far as they're concerned. Now hold on. There's a gap if you if Leeds have got on that far side. Now hold on. He's not got a top. Now here comes Gibbons. Oh, and he just angle tap and the ball comes loose. Well, how unfortunate can you be? Because delayed pass by Holroyd then perfectly weighted to him. And unfortunately, a good ankle tap though by Carlisle because that's what defenders will say that's what they're there for. And a good ankle tap, and unfortunately, as he hit the ground, the ball rolled free and Carlisle breathe again. Two try scorer, Bill Manning with the ball. Plays it to Danny Russell and Steve Briley clears the attempting to clear the danger area as far as the visitors are concerned. <laughs> Kick over the top, Charlton, but not able to collect that. And it's David Gibbons collects the ball. Now Cockan leads her this time. Anthony Gibbons. Needs a, a blue wall there. Craig Guinness has gone off. And for sure, absolutely pounded to the ground there. He kept hold of the ball and make sure away. 
through, trying to get through a gap. Still going, still going, but no support there. On his left hand side, and one would have thought backing up with the Carlisle defence of six and seven and then going back. Well, the try was on there, but it's on this side. Gibbons knocked down, try pass by Iro. But about three yards short. Now they move it out to the right hand side. Holroyd. Gibbons. And a pass there to nobody in particular. And Manning must have thought when he got the ball there he could get to the end and make it a hat trick of try, but he wouldn't this time. But Richardson, who always likes to come up in the line from fullback in front of some of his three quarters there. See Braley in the Carlisle lines well they've ever whatever the result of this game they've ever a creditable show they've not let themselves down of Carlisle and perhaps Leeds they were expected to win and as the saying is they're on a hiding to nothing before even the first whistle Robin drops that ball now Leeds pick it up Iro James Lowe's George Mann George Mann who's come back on the field for Craig Guinness has gone off. Gary Mercer tackled very quick for Carlisle. Plays the ball. And he's given because uh, I think a bit harsh there. I don't think he was allowed to get up and play the ball properly. And he wanted to play it as quickly as possible. And after all, it's what the game is all about, trying to play the ball as quickly as possible. And the referee deemed that the Leeds player had offended there, not the Carlisle player. So Carlisle breathe again and Williams like so many occasions kicks the ball onto the south stand roof George Graham takes on from the play the ball the other ball on the field was kicked clear by the referee really up to the Leeds defence probably he's thinking well let's do sufficient but no more well it's easy to say to score tries, but there's another team on the field to stop you scoring. And Carlisle have done that manfully this afternoon, although they're still 28-10 in arrears. Still trying to play football, Carlisle. Danny Russell, cries of Danny, but he elects to keep hold of the ball. Takes it into the Leeds defensive quarter. Kick there, not a very good kick actually by Manahira, the idea was good the execution perhaps not so Gary Mercer limping a little limping towards the touchline George Mann and that wasn't a good pass at all Carlisle pick it up Dribble it on and a chance now, but he picked up and Paul Cook will be annoyed with himself there because he had a chance to take that ball and run towards the Carlisle try line. If he hadn't have got there, he'd have certainly made it into the Carlisle half of the field. Rana puts the ball in, was just looking to see where his players were positioned. Meantime, Richardson certainly likes to get on the attack. Well, it's no good being on the defensive when, when you're 18 points in arrears. The big bulk of Steve Briley. George Graham. Nearly breaking the Leeds defence. Now, did he play that exactly the same as when Leeds were penalised? Uh, looked like a forward pass there. Unfortunate for Barry Williams, but the pass, the referee's whistle, was uh, almost immediate when the ball had been released to Barry Williams. He's probably a, a little too quick. Gary Charlton with a good tackle there to prevent any more progress. Not being allowed to play the ball, says the referee. Although Mick Shaw had uh, gone past the line where the tackle was made after the play the ball. So Leeds once more on the attack. 
Harvey Howard takes it on. And the two 15s meet there. And so it's the meeting of the Colossus, but nevertheless, Neil Harmon taking it to it nearer to the line. Nobody on that side, so they've got to move it to the right. Hold up. So Gibbons now, Iroh with the ball. Given Iroh, Iroh still trying to fight off James Lowe's. Car defence firm. Gets up slowly, has a few words with Willie Richardson. Pat each other on the back. Ball comes to Iroh. Breaks away from the tackle, runs through a gap. He's got support there. Anthony Gibbons, can he make it? Yes, just makes it. Referee signified the try. So Anthony Gibbons, persistent, paid off. And he'll be pleased with that. The electronic scoreboard brightly shows in the darkness. Least try scored by number one, A. Gibbons. Which gives Paul Cook his easiest kick of the afternoon. It should take it to 34 10 if successful. And it is. Only mooted applause from the crowd because they consider that a kick which any of them could have kicked themselves. I can tell you it's not easy kicking goals, not even from in front of the post. 34 10, 58 minutes gone. And, uh, Gary Mercer has limped off. For sure, bounces off one tackler, it tries to turn to reverse direction, but can't. McDermott, McDermott still going, Barry McDermott, Barry McDermott still going, and he's still running. What a run by McDermott there, using his boot, and looks like a not, not playing the ball correctly there, I would have said. Could have, given, could have given the knock on, but at least he's given a penalty. It was a knock on by Leeds, by the player acting half back. And so Carlisle get the ball. That's number 14, Richard Hanera. He really goes down in the tackle. Taken on by Stuart Rhodes, but, uh, kick through, picked up by uh, Barry McDermott. He's not going to make 50 yards on that occasion. And neither is Francis Cummins. Mick Shaw trying to organise from acting half back there. Neil Harmon. I'll see if uh, I can go 50 yards like my fellow prop McDermott. He's probably saying to himself, he won't either. Now back this time to help uh, to Harmon. Wanted to slip the ball out to Paul Colt, but a Carlisle player had positioned himself in a way that he could have got an interception there. The Leeds will do a kick on this occasion. Holroyd. He's had a satisfactory game without being outstanding at standoff. Well taken by Richardson there. Run it out. And drops the ball. He'd done all the hard work and then dropped the ball. And he's probably feel a little dispirited with that. But his side have tried hard. And they've taken the game to Leeds. And they're rewarded with two tries, one early in the game, one early in the second half. Givens. And it's behind Paul Cook from George Mann. A little to scrum down. Just inside the 20 meter. Of course, this will be another rule change because 
again the scrums will be 20 metres in from the touchline after, to after today Richardson trying to make up for his error which didn't prove costly and Gary Charlton running as strongly as he was in the first minute giving a captain's lead for Carlisle Williams starts a good slip out to Russell the man from Manly cannot get the ball away crowd urging the referee that was a knock on but he's not either take it to, from them or even look towards his touch judges George Graham gets the ball away and that's Stuart Rhodes he drops the ball and a, and a penalty for talking where it's could have been a scrum down Puts the ball towards the south stand side. Two balls on the field, and now we can start. Sure, a bit bemused by that. McDermott. See if I can go 50 yards from the near the least try line. I can perhaps go 50 yards into there now. Harvey Howard trying to bullock his way through. George Graham has been as tackling as strong. Now the move it, George. Trying to beat them by sleight of hand there, but the Carlisle were not to be amused. Sure, sure, but a try. If they weren't bemused by George Mann, they were by Mick Shaw. And surely if the 24-6 half-time scoreline didn't mean that Leeds were in the semi-finals then after 64 minutes at 38-10 barring an unforeseen happening they must be now Paul Cook another kick right in front of the post makes it 40 points to 10 and Cook's fourth success with the boot to go with his 19th minute try Forty points to ten. And one can hear the encouragement that the Carlisle players are giving each other even at this stage, with a quarter of an hour to go. Neil Harmon lets the ball hit his legs and then picks it up. George Mann, George Mann trying to catch the Carlisle defence out with a little stutter of the feet there, but it doesn't. James Lowe's shakes to go left and goes right and gets nowhere <laughs> Arnie Howard running over people like a a riotous steamroller <laughs> that pass from Shaw Dean forward to David Gibbons and the referee scrum down Head and ball to Carlisle. And Carlisle a chance to about salvage a little consolation in this game now. That's all that possibly can be. <laughs> Leeds have not got back the 10 yards or 10 metres. And Cavana puts the ball into touch. Wants the ball quickly. And Danny Russell. Cavana. Moving it on to that far side. Danny Mahera. So they're getting it out to the right hand side and perhaps trying to outflank Leeds on the outside. That's able to. Stuart Rhodes. Oh, 
and they move it back left to Lyle. William Shrew, he's only got one man to beat. No spin on George Graham, in for a try. And George Graham dies short of the line, but momentum takes him over. Keeps the ball off the ground, of course. So, as I say, some consolation there for Carlisle. George Graham, reward for his efforts this afternoon. A happy try for the man from Stirling County Rugby Union with that try and an easy kick for Willie Richardson to make it 16 which he does 40 points to 16 Three tries Carlisle have got. So Leeds will kick off. Side of the kickoff. Too eager. And advancing into the Carlisle half before the ball has been kicked. So Williams takes the kick and puts it into the paddock. And Carlisle go back on the attack. Now can they get some more points? Manera don't get that ball up Willie Richardson takes it just over the 20 metre line Russell he's got support there and the number bullocking number 8 Steve Briley 10 metres short Carlisle lining up for the ball not a good pass really from Charnett but it, uh, really I suppose Stuart Rose did well to hold that one down by his hip ball quickly kicked through by Cavana who's dumped at some ceremonies on the ground the referee says play on now leads with a chance to break Paul Cook zigzagging and not lucky with him nobody whatsoever on his own but uh, at least he's made some ground and got leads out of uh, near there and James Lowe's and uh, Anthony Gibbons takes it up to nearly the halfway line Barry McBurr takes it into Carlisle territory. And it, uh, this time it's Carlisle who are penalised for not letting the Leeds player, Barry McBurr, play the ball. Holroyd going to put it into touch. I think there was some deliberation as to whether Cook was going to kick it goal then. And I just wonder if the crowd sensed that because they started a few boos. McDermott would love to score a try this afternoon, I certainly would. And so Neil Harwood, he turns it back once over to James Lowe's. James Lowe's can't get the ball out. Four Carlisle players in attendance. And George Mann, Lowe's. Low, uh, Mick Shaw, I should say. Mick Shaw through a gap. And Shaw gets his second try. Of the afternoon. Cheers for Mick Shaw. So Leeds have scored nine tries and just four goals. Carlisle themselves scored three tries and two goals. Crowd waiting for that, I think. <laughs> For the offside, which never came. And Leeds try and launch another attack from their own line. And certainly from their own. Lowe's takes it out, out of the danger area. And Harvey Howard sets himself. He's had uh, 
Nicholson is coming on the sun. He's played himself into the Leeds way of things. Oh, Lloyd. Referee seemed to find that that was at the shoulder. Holroyd is not so sure. Play goes on. Cummins. But uh, he's not going to get out of the George Graham bear hug. Two number tens meet there. That's got it out beautifully to James Lowe. James Lowe trying to get into a position to give his support players the ball. He runs away from them then. Have to get now, but he's surrounded by a collar players. Takes it up himself. Last one coming up, says the referee. Holroyd. Now, Carl I'll know. Now here comes this. Oh, they pass now. Can it be a hat trick of tries? It can't. The referee shouted, leave him. As Manning was on the floor. Leeds were attempting to drag him into touch there. Now Willa Richardson blind his years and showing a lot of experience not letting him get up to play the ball tackles the ball and again that'll be another penalty and this could be a could this be a yellow card for Harvey Howard probably the referee certainly reaching for his back pocket and so Leeds will play out the last six minutes of this game with 12 men. So William signifying I'm going to kick to the left hand touch line, the south hand side. Now Carlisle chance to perhaps make it 20 points or we'll get into the 20s. Russell, Graham and the man of the match has been announced and uh, it's the two try scorer so far Mick Shaw, the Leeds man of the match Carlisle just short of the Leeds line Cavano, so just take a stride back to pick that one up to Richardson, Richardson but uh, he can't get the ball away. Support was there. Now Russell. Russell is he running across the front of the Leeds defence. Scrum defence. And George Graham takes the ball and goes over. So that's George Graham's second try. And one has to admire them for their spirit and you can see while they're near the top of the second division on this showing. So the man who came to Carlisle via Egremont Amateur Rugby League Club and Whitehaven will attempt to kick his third successful goal of the afternoon. Cries have come on Willie from the few Carlisle spectators behind the post that he's attempting to put the ball through. And if he's got the distance, he makes it. And so Carlisle have got 22 points to Leeds's 44. They'll be disappointed, of course, that they've lost. But they certainly haven't disgraced themselves. As perhaps Leeds were always going to win this game despite going six points down in ten minutes. Or were expected to do. And this is what they have done. Holroyd <laughs> making sure that the players were still on side when he kicked that one. Williams, who has not had any chances near the line. Did get thrown one occasion, it was pulled back for a forward pass. And the effervescent Willie Richardson, who's given the lead to perhaps some of his younger colleagues. And George Graham, who to me has been the Carlisle 
player of the match. Kavan, a nice chip through, but he goes off, I think, the outside of his foot there. And straight to the leads. And Gibbons takes it back. And Shaw received a knock. After that. His physio comes on, so Leeds now trying to put a, a last attack, a last chance to get points together. And effectively with 11 men on the field because Shaw's out of the play completely, receiving attention to an injury. So it's 11 against 13 at the moment. Holroyd, long pass. Cummins trying to stride through with those remaining 10 metres to the line and can't. Lowe's. Uh, looking at Iro. Iro shoves off one tackle, ships the ball out to McDermott. McDermott ships it back inside. It's Gibbons and he's got support there. And surely there must be a lead side. Long pass to Cummins. But again, the defence is firm. But they get the ball out to Cummins again. To Carlisle tackling like demons as if it's if they can hold the leads from scoring now, they'll win the game. Ball over the top. Now Leeds, if they keep it going, loose, and there goes the Hooter, and Leeds in their effort to try and keep the ball moving on that six tackle, but the Hooter beat them to it, although I think the ball was dropped right at the end and Carlisle had regained possession, but the Carlisle could lead this game with their heads held high, they've given Leeds a good game, Leeds perhaps have not been on top form, they haven't been on top form for a week or two now, but they'll say, well, we've won. They were expected to. Some people even expected them to win by the bigger margin than they have done. But nevertheless, as the teams leave the field to the cheers, mixture of cheers and boos from the crowd, and the Carlisle players applaud their spectators. They get the rousing su support from even the Leeds supporters here. It's Leeds who go through to the semi-final of the Regal Trophy on a cold afternoon in December here at Headingley. Leeds have won by 44 points to 22. Carlisle really did come to play. They took the game to you, didn't they? We knew they would take the game to us. They beat Castleford and then they had a good win in the, um, the next round after that. So we knew they were going to come here. They, they had not to lose. They coming to Headingley. Top ground. So we knew they were going to be up for the, um, for the filler match and there was. Well, they had chances early, but finally they did take one to the third attempt after ten minutes to, and they went six and in front. But it was a case of Leeds then not panicking, wasn't it? Yeah, we we never panic. Um, we just got behind the sticks, and um, Captain Kevin Arrow just said, um, "Calm things down. Let's play the sets of six, which we did. And um, like I said, we went, we scored a few tries, and we were so like 24 points to six at half time. Well, you scored the first uh, try for Leeds. Um, must be pleased to start the ball running, although your kicking boots were left at home at times. Yeah, there was a um, every most of the kicks was on the sideline, but that, there's no excuses. But um, yeah, I want I want on form with kicking today, but we scored the tries and I popped a few of us, so hopefully can in the semi-final pop some other. You'd be disappointed though to have let four tries in from a second division side, but as I say, they never stopped uh, trying to play, did they? No, they never. Games like this, when you play second division clubs and first division clubs, they're always hard. You, you don't know what to expect from them. And um, no, the, all credit to Carlisle. They've come here, they've played well, they've scored four tries, and um, hopefully we can we can go into the next match against Bradford next week and concede no tries and try and pick up on the on this game today. Well, into the semi-finals of the Regal Trophy now, and hopefully some silverware at Headingley. We know that Wigan. Uh, Warrington and St Helens are going to be there and yourselves are the four semi-finalists. Any particular choice? No, no, you've got to, you, whoever we're getting now, you've got to play in the semi-final or the final anyway, so anybody really, I don't know where they're going to be played, either at home or the neutral grounds, so anybody really, and if we, whoever we get, we'll just try and um, put one over them and, like you said, get some silverware. But that semi-final is put on the back burner as the, the, the league games before that take precedence? Yeah, yeah, it is. Um, like, like I said, um, Anybody in the in the semi-final, and like you say, if it's Wigan, we saw that witness played a good game yesterday. Carlisle's done the same, so whoever we get, we'll just try and um, come out with victors. Well done, Paul. A win today, and a, a win, perhaps not as convincing as some people may, but at least it is a win. Yeah, it's a win. We're in the app for the um, for the semi-final, and like you say, it's a win. Best of luck. Thanks very much. Thank you.